Welcome to the final tutorial for bulletproofing forms in Excel. Here I finally get to show you how to actually bulletproof the form so that people can't click these outside cells or delete any of this data. They can only input data where they are supposed to be able to do that. And we're also going to have to update our macro to work with this. And we're going to hide all the extra data we made in the last tutorial. So this tutorial is going to round everything up if you haven't seen the previous tutorials, I highly recommend that you go ahead and watch those because I'm going to assume that you are up to date with all that. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. So this is where we left off. We have our validation and our formatting, our error count and our show error and our macro everything is working as of the last tutorial but let's get rid of all this data now it looks ugly it's annoying and the user can accidentally delete it and break everything so what we want to do it's actually pretty simple you go to the review tab and click protect sheet do that by default both of these options will be selected hit OK once you do that you're not going to be able to delete or augment any of the data by default. In fact, by default, you won't even be able to do anything with these. So this is the feature we're going to use. And now let's adjust it to make it work exactly how we need it to work. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that all of these cells here are editable, but the others are not. So what we can do is click the cells, hit Control, Select each one. It's going to make this go faster. Then right click, go to Format Cells, go to the Protection tab, and uncheck Locked. So by default, all of the cells in the workbook, in the worksheet, are locked. And that means when we click Protect Sheet up here, they're going to be locked. You're not going to be able to do anything with it. Unchecking this for specific cells says, hey, keep these open, let the user do stuff with them. So uncheck locked, hit OK. Now, if we go back to protect sheet, hit OK. You'll notice that here I hit the delete key or anything, still an error. But over here, I can type in stuff. I can add values, but I try to add a value down here, error. But still, I don't want the user to be able to select all these things down here. Not very user friendly. So let's unprotect the sheet again. Hit protect. Now look to this little window. The first thing here is select locked cells. The other one is select unlocked cells. By default, these are the only two options that are going to be selected. You've got many other options you can check out. But what we want to do is to uncheck select locked cells. Hit OK. And now we can't even click over here. We can see the data, but we can't click there. We can only click here in our unlocked cells or use the arrow keys to go through them, enter, tab. It's great. So in just a few moments, we have essentially almost idiot proofed our form. So we use the protect sheet to do that. Now let's hit unprotect sheet, protect it again. You may notice that we can unprotect it really easily with the click of a button. So you're going to want to put a password in up here. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use a very simple password, 123456. Never ever use that password. <laughs> it's a horrible idea. So 123456, OK. Now you have to confirm it. OK. Side note, Excel is not a good program to store mission critical, super sensitive data or financial information. So don't think of it like a really secure database because it's not. Now, go to unprotect sheet this time and we get the little password prompt. If you fail, it tells you, nope, can't do it. So you hit the one, two, three, four, five, six, enter. And once again, it's available. We have to go and update our macro now because once I go like this, protect sheet, okay. Let's run the macro, success, and error. So what happened is the macro, let's debug this, 
show error cell dot value equals zero, it tried to change the value of our error cell right here, but we can't even click the cell, let alone edit it. So what we need to do, let's go back here, hit the stop button. If you see the yellow thing like this, just hit the stop button up here to make it go back to its regular mode. What we need to do now is to unprotect our sheet, do whatever we need to do on our sheet, which in this case is change a cell, and then at the end of it, reprotect the sheet. So in the macro, we're going to do the same thing that I was doing when I was clicking unprotect sheet and protect sheet right here. So let's go to the VBA window, Alt F11. Let's go up here. There's no point in unprotecting and reprotecting the sheet within the if statement because you're going to have to do it twice, once for each condition. So what we can do up here is unprotect the worksheet and then down here at the end protect the worksheet. And it's incredibly simple to do that. So since everything that we're going to be doing is on this worksheet right here, we can use active sheet. We don't have to write the name or the index number of the worksheet. We don't have to reference it in a hard coded way. We simply write active sheet and this tells the macro to deal with the currently visible worksheet. And what we want to do here is unprotect. Now space, quotation mark, type the password, close quote. Now the worksheet will be unprotected and here is our password to unprotect it. Now we can go down here. Can you guess how we're going to protect it? Dot protect one, two, three, four, five, six. Now Alt F11. Try it again. Watch the show error should change from a one to a zero. Success. One to zero. Perfect. And let's try and click our worksheet now. Nope. Can't do it. We can only go over here. Now that we got that working, I want to say one note right here. I do recommend that you initially protect and unprotect your worksheet by hand so that you can more easily work with these options here. So you can uncheck select locked cells. Keep your macro code easy, just one line to unprotect, one line to protect, like I showed you, very simple. But do this by hand at first so that the option's already selected there as you want it. And hit OK, protect it, unprotect it. Then allow the macro to run and do its magic. Now, let's get rid of this stuff over here. This is driving me crazy. Make sure our sheet is unprotected. Yes, it is. There are a bunch of different ways to hide data. I've talked about this many, many different times. What you could do is you could select the data and you could hide the columns. That's one way to do it. Or I don't really like that because if a user is viewing the columns and they see it go from H to N, they can see that something's off and a little bit funky and I just don't like that. So what I like to do is select all of the data that you don't need to appear, go to the home tab and make it the same color as the background. Now it's gone. And then if we go to the view tab and we take away the grid lines, you will have absolutely no idea that it's there. Now we can take away the headings and the formula bar, make sure that's gone. Go to the review tab, protect the sheet, and you can't even click over here. So all the data we have over here and nobody knows about it. We're the only ones that know about it and it's not going to affect anyone. It's not going to hurt anyone. All it's going to do is make our lives so much easier when we want to change our form and troubleshoot our form, change the data validation rules or the conditional formatting rules for error checking. Because all we have to do then is go to unprotect sheet. Let's bring back our headings and grid lines and formula bar. Select over here. The data is still there. It's just hidden. Then click black and everything is back for us to play with. It was always there, it was just hidden. 
So we're using a few tricks in order to make our life much easier. Now there are other things you could do with password protection. If we go to the review tab, you can protect the entire workbook. You can allow some people to edit certain ranges. There are different things you can do over here, but for making a form, sending it out to somebody else, per password protecting the sheet is a pretty good way to deal with that. And to be honest, if you're going to add a bunch of users and allow them to edit specific ranges, it gets out of hand pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and rehide this stuff again. We don't need it anymore. All that's done. Home, hide, okie dokie. Now let's get rid of our presentation data tab. Just right click that guy. It's off the screen right now, but towards the bottom you'll see hide. Click that and it's gone. Notice that it is still here, no problem. And we can unhide it by right clicking this and towards the bottom there's an option called unhide and it pops up this little window. You select the sheet to unhide and you get it back. So we're going to go ahead and hide that guy. Now let's change the view once again because we are pretty much done here. Pop in Thanos. Get this guy there. Now hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. We still have a problem here and the problem is that our password is right here. All I had to do was hit Alt F11 to get here. So anyone can access our worksheet. Well, what we can do then is we can password protect our workbook. And additionally, before I get there, you notice how easy it was to unhide the worksheet with our presentation data right over here. In this window, if we click the worksheet and we go down here to the bottom, in the bottom right hand corner for properties, you've got a property called visible. And let me make it a little bigger. It says Excel Sheet Hidden, and there's an option which is currently off the screen. You'll see it in a moment. Excel Sheet Very Hidden. Now notice something that just happened. It is incredibly annoying. It's going to drive you nuts. When I clicked the option for Visible, we were on Sheet 2 Presentation Data. It automatically shifted us to Sheet 1 Form. We have to re-click Sheet 2 Presentation Data, and now we can see Excel Sheet Very Hidden down here, right here. So now, if I hit Alt F11 and I go back here, and I right-click, Unhide isn't even an option. I won't even know that there's a hidden worksheet, because it is very hidden. To get it back, we click the worksheet, go down here, we can click Excel Sheet Visible. Alt F11, there's our worksheet once again. So that's how we can hide it from all but, let's say, the most knowledgeable Excel users. But let's go ahead, make it Excel Sheet Very Hidden. Confirm it was good, good. Now let's password protect this guy so that no one can see our password. So we're using a password to protect our password, to protect our sheet. <laughs> But we don't want someone to see this plain text password, so we go over here, we right click our project, and we go to VBA Project Properties, then we go to Protection, then what we can do is we can do Lock Project for Viewing, and a password, let's say 123456. Hit OK, and close Excel and reopen it. And now when I hit Alt F11, you can see the project is collapsed and I try to open it up and I have to have a password. So I can't see that a worksheet is Excel very hidden. I can't see the macros. I can't see any of it. I have to have a password. And now it's all back. And my worksheet here, scroll down, still Excel sheet very hidden. Success. Let's throw an error. Error. Still can't click anywhere over here. Everything is now password protected. Everything looks nice. We have our recommendation. If I input something incorrectly over here, the value doesn't match. And after all that, that's how you can create 
a bulletproof form and Excel that even your coworkers can't mess up. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.